Hi everybody, Darian here with Pike Outside again. I just wanted to give you a couple of tomahawk throwing tips and techniques. I'm no expert by any means, but a few things that I've noticed just recently throwing this tomahawk out here in the woods is some things I've been taught and some things that I've just observed by practice. First is make sure you're throwing with your dominant hand, one hand's breadth up from the bottom, okay? In general, that seems to work for rotation. The other thing that I tell you is that when you step forward to throw the tomahawk, throw it like a baseball pitcher. So step forward with your opposite foot, the opposite of your dominant hand, and then release with your dominant hand. And just uh, try to keep that rotation roughly vertical. And that seems to work really well. So about three paces is what seems to work for me. I stand just beyond three paces. Imagine it's a line here about a foot in front of me. Take one step forward and then release. keep banging it periodically on some hard wood just to reseat that head down on the handle. This is uh, seated totally different than a traditional axe or hatchet. So keep doing that. So I've filmed this tutorial over the course of quite a few trips out here to the wood. Um, and looking back on the footage, there's just a couple other tips I wanted to let you guys know of and some info I just missed. The first one was that I keep banging the head down onto the top of the handle here. The handle flares out and the head is just seated by friction. There's no wedge that you punch in there, and 
it doesn't flare out here it's just straight all the way down and so it's just is seated totally different than other axes and hatchets on wooden handles so that's that's why I do that just remember that the other thing is that the reason why you throw a tomahawk and not a hatchet or an axe uh, is the design this is a throwing axe is what it is the handle is going to be straight all the way down so it comes out of your hand really smoothly there's no flare on the pommel side here and so it doesn't catch on your fingers it just comes out real nice and easy the other thing I wanted to mention was just that when it comes to distance know your pace distance a pace is two steps okay and so you want to know what your pace is what you uh, what your pace looks like on a normal everyday sort of walking jaunt um, don't try to exaggerate it or make it real short just what's what is your average step that'll give you an idea of distance that's useful for things besides this it's useful for map and compass work orienteering it's useful for um, marching and just having an idea of how much ground that you've covered or kind of some basic surveying sort of work that you might be doing it's not going to be super accurate but it's a good tool to know and basically what you're trying to do when you throw these tomahawks is you are trying to give yourself the correct distance from the target to give your tomahawk one rotation in the air that spin time stays pretty constant no matter how you throw it you can try to affect it uh, a little bit if you flip it a little bit or you kind of release it gingerly but if you have kind of a consistent throw it'll have that same rotation speed every single time and that's why you want to judge out your distance to the tree if you back up further you could potentially get several rotations before it hits the tree but you're still going to want to know what's the right distance you're basically going to want to not quite double your distance because it will slow down the rotation will slow down as it's flying through the air but almost double your distance if you want to do two rotations of a hawk that's an extra challenge um, I don't often do that that would be hard for me to do but that's something that can be done anyway thanks once again for joining me everybody this has been Darian with Pike Outside I hope you enjoyed this little tomahawk throwing tutorial I know I had a blast making it and learning how to better throw tomahawks it's just a real fun hobby something good to do out in the woods make sure when you're throwing your hawks throw them at dead trees no reason to harm a live living tree all right as always be kind be adventurous and be careful after all we're throwing around sharp pointy objects pike out